Maurits Escher, born in 1898. I hated school. The only class I liked at all was art. That doesn't mean I was any good at it, even at drawing. His parents want him to be an architect. His art teacher does not agree. Escher becomes an artist. Even today, that teacher is present in his studio. From the very first, he plays with space and man's perception of it. And he puzzles together images that interlock and sometimes mirror each other. In the beginning, he travels. He draws what he sees, fascinated by some landscapes and by architecture. But then, gradually, he begins to play his own game. He creates illusions and illusions within illusions. Whatever turn of fancy he follows, there is an inescapable logic and a strong preference for geometrical forms. Yeah, where does that come from? The laws of nature, they just amaze me. A sphere or a cube, they're beautiful. They still aren't personal, but you can make them more complicated more intense. And that's what he does with infinite patience to be looked at, touched, experienced. But Escher's world is that of an artist. His work, that of a craftsman. This name, artist, I've always been very suspicious about it. I don't actually know what it means. I don't even know what art is. I do know what science is, but I'm no scientist. I must admit, not a single work ever succeeds. They all miss, naturally, because it's the dream I try for that can't be realized. <laughs> 